Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I do have my finale for the eighth round of the Roulette Pan Collab that was started by Alexi and Rebecca Morgan. So if you guys want to see their channels, be sure to go down below. I do have them linked in my description box. I do have the playlist that they created of everybody else's videos that's doing it here on YouTube, but you guys can hop on over to Instagram and see people who are doing this project over there as well. I do have my playlist linked here on the screen and down below as well if you guys want to see everything I worked on for round seven and round eight. So this project did start on September 15th and it does end today on January 15th of 2021. So I have been working on six different prompts in this project over the past month. Um, before we get into that, I know I typically show you guys what lipstick and what eyeshadow I'm wearing but if you guys want to check that out that is in my 50 shades of pink video that I did yesterday because I am filming a couple videos today so that I can get ahead because I do have some appointments coming up later this week so let's go ahead and hop on over to this and talk about what prompts I had and where if whether or not I hit my goals I do have my computer right here um so let's go ahead and start. The first one I was working on was for the prompt, a product you've used up before. And for that, I was working on my ABH Brow Wiz. Um, and this one is in the shade Dark Brown. As of the last update, I did mark it on my lid. I was up to here. I just had this tiniest amount to use up. I did use it 10 more times and it is completely gone. So I cannot roll it up anymore, get anything else out of this. I do love this one. This is something I will repurchase. This is a great shade match for me. So I did use this one a total of 65 times in this project. The next one was for an expensive product. And for that, I rolled in this QMS Intensive Eye Care Day and Night Eye Cream. I did use this one an additional 54 times and this is all I have left. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's just a little bit of product down there at the base. I did use this one a total of 157 times in this project. This one, I think when I started the project, I told you guys it was worth $150. I now see that they have lowered the price to $132. Do I think it's worth it? Absolutely not. But I am close to finishing up this one, so I'll just keep on working on this product. The next one, let's see, is a product from a previous project. And for that, I rolled in this Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I had used this one 30 times last month and I've used it an additional 24. So this is where I was last month right here. And now I am down to this line right here. So um, it's really hard to mark. As you guys can see, the sides are really clouded. Um, this product loves to stick to the sides. So that, those are my guesstimates on where I am. I have used this one a total of 54 times in this project. I do enjoy it. It's not my favorite powder, but you know, it's not bad. Um, the next prompt is an old favorite. And for that, I rolled in my Natasha Denona single in the shade Phlox. My goal for this was to use it 10 times. As of the last update, I had used it five times and I have since used it five more times. So I hit my goal and this is how much I have left of this one. This one is super tiny. This is only four grams of product. I like to give you guys the reference of the AB8 shadows and like the Norvina and Soft Glam. Those are seven grams. So this one is only four. This one is tiny. It's a very shallow pan. The next one is a product you are currently loving. For that, I rolled in this Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. It was just a little 100 point perk from uh, Sephora. This was brand new when I put it in. I did use it eight times and completely used it up. There's just not very much product in here. Love this cleansing balm. I'm currently working on a cherry one from Pharmacy in my Beauty A to Z, and this is my favorite cleansing balm by far. And then the final category I was working on was a drugstore product. And for that, I rolled in this L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. Mine is in 410. It was pretty full to the top. And now I am down to here. And I did use this one 24 times over the past month. And I am actually wearing this right now. So this is a great foundation. It doesn't break up on me. I, I do have normal skin. I've never had a foundation break up on me. Um, it works great. Um, it's just not cruelty free. So I am trying to use this one up. I'm just going to continue working on this and just finish it up and move it on out of my collection. 
So I did work on 15 prompts over the past four months for this round of the project and I did hit my goal on 12 out of the 15. So I'm really pleased with my progress on this one. I am not sure when they're going to do round nine. I know that they will announce it sometime before it happens and when it does I most likely will jump on board and do this project again. It is one of my favorites. I do, do love the um, aspect of just randomly pulling in products and not quite knowing uh, what you're going to get and then trying to figure out how to find a product to correlate to the prompt. So I've really enjoyed this project. Thank you so much, Rebecca and Lexi, to opening this up to everybody that so that all of us can join. I know it is a very popular project pan here on YouTube and there's tons of content if you guys want to binge watch um, this project pan if you guys really like it. So that is everything that I have for you guys. If you haven't already, I hope you please consider subscribing to my channel before you go. And thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.